What is up guys? Boy Fez, back with another video. Sorry, I'm putting up for, for a bit. Um, to be honest, the weather's been crap and I've been busy, so I've not time to really film anything. I've, well, I've done a bit, but not very interesting. Um, just on my way up to go and get some, I'm just going to go up to Stafford. I need to go and get some Euros because I fly out to Greece tomorrow. Going on holiday, so uh, yeah, look forward to that. Been packing in that last couple of days, doing all the crap you gotta do before you go on holiday. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get some Euros and other little bits. Um, yeah, when I get back, I'm going to go through all the bits that I've ordered for the turbo, because virtually every, for the turbo scooter project, virtually everything um, ordered has arrived, apart from just some bits. It's going to get it together in my head and see if there's anything. I've ordered probably way more than I need to be honest. Like, I just don't want to be part way through it and have to stop because I've got something daft. Um, so yeah, what I'm doing is, uh, yeah, so I'll just show you what I bought basically so far. So uh, I'll go up, get some currency exchanging, and I'll show you where I am with the turbo project, which hopefully when I get back from Greece, I'm going to do. While I'm in Greece, I'm going to do some filming. I'm going to definitely going to be hiring a quad or something like that. Probably be a quad. I'll do a bit of vlogging and that while I'm out there for you. Right, we've got the Euros. It's another job done. Buzz in. I'm nearly there now. Okay, Morrison's got a couple more bits because it's rammed here and I can't be bothered. And then, I'm going to go back and have a look through the turbo build stuff I've got. everything I need for my holiday. Feeling pretty smug right now. All is well with the world. Right, so next I'm going to go home and we'll have a look through all the turbo stuff I got because I have to order anything. I mean, I thought we'd order it while I'm over there because I'm taking my laptop, but whoa, that dude just swerved in front of that dude. I thought there was one in there. That's going to swerve in somewhere. <laughs>
Right guys, made it back. Got everything sorted for my holiday now. I'm feeling pretty smug, pretty buzzing. So I'm just gonna go through all the bits that I've got for the turbocharger. Uh, the little turbo project that we've got. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff. <laughs> so basically the first thing here is just a gasket set, spare gasket set for 150 GY6 engine. Don't even know if I'm gonna need anything off it, but it's always good to have spares. Got a couple of boost uh, pipes and things like that for connecting the, uh, these are going to be the boost pipes, these are like the connectors. I don't know if I'm going to run this 90 degree bend in it or not, um, because I'm doing draw through now, uh, drawing the uh, through the carburetor into the turbo, then it will go through the boost pipes mixed, um, so I'll fuel and air mixed. I don't want any 90 degree turns and stuff like that in it, because it might get uh, fuel puddling or something to call it. Um, yeah, got some tube. 25 mil for the boost pipe which connects into there and stuff like that so we've got a couple of those of that because we're going to need quite a bit of that this is 32 mil stainless well, this is stainless basically um this is basically for the exhaust it's going to cut a piece that's going to go from the turbo to the exhaust um this i'm really pleased with this is the oil tank i'm going to use so we're going to have an oil tank for the turbo oil because i don't want to have to mess around getting out the engine and stuff like that it's going to be bolt on bolt off stuff might make it more complicated but i think in the long run i'll be pleased that i did in case I blow one of the engines up that i've got uh came with all this tube and that so what's going to happen is we're going to have a pump which is in here fittings and that are in there what happens is we're going to have that it's going to have oil in it up to about there should be plenty it's going to have the tube which is going to go on there tube is going to go into a pump which is then going to pump the oil into the turbo the turbo is over here just tapes it shut so that I get it in and out right so inside here we are that's a that's the exhaust gasket and it got the exhaust gasket there here we have the turbo there we go right so this is the turbo What's going to happen is the oil line is going to go from there it's going to go into the inlet which i've got a little thingy for so that goes in there sort of hopefully yeah so that goes in there so you've got the oil going to come through here it's going to go through the pump it's going to go into there so it's going to be pressurized it's going to go into there it's then going to come out of there through a little thingy it's going to come out of there, under here, it's going to come out of there and go back into here. We're also going to have a breather line from the engine going to there. And we're going to have a little filter on there, which is over here. A little carbon fibre jobby, because carbon fibre makes everything faster. It's going to go on there. So we're going to have like an oil catch tank, reservoir and breather tank thingy all rolled into one. So yeah, so the breather is going to go in there, oil in is going to go there. So it's going to come back out of the turbo. Hopefully the pressure from the pump will pump it through there, out of there and back into there. But if not, we're going to have to run. I've already ordered another one of these just in case to run the all back into the reservoir. Nice little thingy. So yeah, um, how the turbo works. Exhaust goes in there, spins that, that spins that, sucks air in there, fires it out of there. The carburetor is going to be there. So it's going to suck air through the carburetor fuel and air into there, push it out there, through these pipes. We've also got a set of flanges here. That's what happens is we've got these flanges here because we ordered these in from uh, from China or no, Japan, I don't know, from a long way away. It costs about 50 quid, which seems quite a bit bought. How much effort would it take to make them yourself? So all I've got to do basically is weld pipe onto there. So the exhaust is going to go onto that goes in there it's going to come out of here that we're going to use this you can use either of these but i think we're going to use this for lange there right and then the exhaust comes out here i'm going to use this bit of pipe here no maybe i don't know hmm. is that the right one i don't know we might need some 40 mil pipe order actually because that it's got quite a lot of difference in it i hadn't realized that so this is why we're checking but yeah, I might just leave that like that. Yeah, no, I think we do need a bit of... Is that really that much different? Yeah, it's huge different. Hmm, 
so I must be 30 kilos. Oh, I think I've got some 40 mil pipe somewhere along the way. If not, we'll order some. So that's some, this is why I'm going through it in my own head as well. So that I know what else I need to order. So I'll order some 40 mil pipe. If we haven't already got some on order, I can't remember. Um, yeah, what else have we got? Got a little light here. This is going to go on the front because it's going to be a naked frame. And it's going to have the light on the front. So we're not going to have loads of other stuff. It's going to be a frame, light, engine, me. Yeah, it's going to look cool, hopefully. Um, yeah, what else? What else? What else? Oh, we've got all nuts and washers and all bolts and that. All stainless steel and that for attaching stuff to the turbo. This is going to be the vacuum line for the um, carburetor because it needs one. So we're going to have this and that's going to be sat in between the turbo and the carburetor. And that goes with the vacuum line comes out of there and goes into the top of the carb to raise the uh, thingy. And yeah, so <laughs> it is pretty complicated to be fair and there is a lot of stuff here and I'm pretty sure there's going to be more stuff. I've got an air filter here but we're not actually going to use that because that was going to be for when it was going to be a blow through carb but now it's going to be draw through. So that is now too small because that was going to go there and then the carb is going to be there. But now that, now we're going to have an air filter in front of the carb which is not going to be that because it's too small. I might use it for something else, I don't know. If not, we've already ordered a bigger one carbon fiber again because everyone knows carbon fiber makes stuff faster oh and here we've got a little boost gauge that it's going to run so obviously you're going to have the boost pipe there this probably there's like um, a, a vacuum thingy in the inlet on the engine so that's going to go from that and then obviously that's boost that's vacuum depending on what the crack is so yeah that's pretty cool i paid like a tenner for that i'm really pleased with that it's got light up bits on it but i don't think we're going to use it because I don't really want it to, I'm not bothered by it lighting up and it's just more wiring, which I hate. That little bit of tube here is for uh, for the, um, oh, for the drain, that's what it's for, I forgot what it's for though. That's for the drain, so that goes on there. Then the tube comes out of there, back into that. We're going to need a reducer, so that's going to go there. And then we're going to need summit around the bottom, because that and that tube are different sizes, so we're going to need like a thingy. Um, yeah, what else? That's the boost pipe, that's that. That's a um, 25 to 32 thingy. I'm gonna need that for Summit, I can't remember what. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff and that's not even all of it. It'll give you an idea. I mean, it's not easy, but if it was, everyone would be doing it and let's say, like, uh, let's face it, what's the point? Everyone can do it. So it's not hard, it's not, well, it's not impossible. It is hard and there is a lot to it and it is complicated, so so you know what you're getting yourself in for if you do decide to try and turbo a small engine or whatever even on a little single cylinder it is difficult it's not simple and i don't even know if i'm going to successfully do it but we're going to give it a go that's what life's all about so yeah um yeah so hopefully when i get back from greece we're gonna have everything ready and we're gonna get started on it um while i'm in greece i'm gonna be doing some motor vlogging on a quad hopefully so some quaddo vlogging stay tuned for that hit subscribe if you want to see that I'll be uploading them while i'm over there um so yeah if you want to see more make sure you hit subscribe and until next time peace